We stopped a hundred clicks from Moscow to check our Geiger counters. The thing is, they are all in the green, as if they're in a conspiracy. Still, this amazing piece of news doesn't really impress anyone that much. The guys are all confused as to what to do next. And I... I'm just waiting for answers. And hoping the commander, whom until recently I trusted implicitly, is going to be extremely persuasive in his reasoning. We are at a crossroads, so to speak, where everybody can help but wonder, what next? Where do we go from here? Hmm, yes. More or less what I expected from you. But you got the picture. So, is your counter functioning? Have you checked it? Yes, it's all green. Double checked it. Stepan's in the green too. We don't need masks here. So, they were telling the truth. Who was telling the truth? Why won't you answer? Who are those people trying to kill us? Why would they shoot at you, the Order's commander? Explain something, at least! You owe us that! Well, I might as well drop the bomb now. The war did not end. What do you mean, uh, did not end? Let me finish. Most of our cities are destroyed. The rest of the country is probably under enemy occupation to avoid new nuclear attacks against us. Command chose the only viable course of action, to play dead. To ensure radio silence, the shield system was created. A network of radio jammers covering Moscow and suburbs. So that some radio enthusiasts wouldn't bring more bombs down on our heads by whining on air. And it's one of these jammers that got disabled by the hands of those present here. Could you not have shared that before? Say, I'll before Artyom took that radio outside and caught all that radiation? No! I only got briefed half a year ago. Under a strict, you talk, you die policy. And then had to tell my people we were securing a weather station. Sir, with all due respect, if we can't go back, maybe we should advance and move on? I have an idea, but... Uh... Artyom, rather than carrying on with this silent disapproval of yours, check the airwaves. We should be out of the jamming range by now, so give it your best try. Look for transmissions from the Ark. <sighs> Do you understand now why we are traitors in the eyes of command? We shut down a jamming station, shot up the guards, destroyed a patrol train, and ran away from Moscow. Who even needs a trial when the case is so clear? There's no way back now. Which means we have to continue moving forward. Command, what are you talking about? The Moscow. Wait a moment, what was that? The Ark Project Base. Everyone who can hear me, everyone still loyal to the cause. Listen, everyone! Rally point location is code 1811 79. Area 18-5. I repeat, proceed to the rally point. Rally point location is code 181 so somewhere around here. Area 18 so Only by standing together like shall this. we overcome this is the of all obstacles. So, is this what you had in mind? Yes! This is it! The Ark Project is a whole city underground. Enormous stores, machines, the best experts. It is the Commander General's HQ. All of the country's leaders are there. They have already started the restoration work. We will tell them that Moscow is alive. It wasn't all for nothing. Everything will change, everything. Do you get it? A new life is starting for all the survivors of the world. <laughs> Are there any single women in that place? <laughs> Great reaction. So I think the moment calls for... Hmm. Bring it out, the Bring what out, Colonel? Sir, 
That thing that's been sloshing about in your canteen. <laughs> you think I'm deaf or what? Ah, that. Uh, just a moment. I, I thought my ears were deceiving me. <laughs> <laughs> it's not a short trip to the Urals, so we should make ourselves comfortable, I guess. Well, let's name this bucket of bolts at the very least, eh? It's about time. Let's go around and be done with it. <laughs> nah, go to hell. <laughs> Even better. Oh, come How on. How about Aurora, the Roman goddess of dawn and a cruiser of, uh, uh, you know what? That's better. <laughs> Not bad. I like it. Ah, beautiful name. Sounds okay, but the cruiser of what? Yeah, I'll tell you later. Looks like it's decided. <laughs> Let's treat to the Hey, Artyom, let's take a look at that map. All right, we had a round that should be enough. Yermak, full steam ahead. Hi. Uh, full steam ahead. Uh, wow, that's some distance. I wonder how long it will take. After all those years in the underground, the air of the surface seemed incredibly fresh, intoxicating. But that was not what had caused the crew's euphoria. Our journey finally got a definite purpose provided by the transmission from the government bunker in the Urals. For 20 years, we thought that neither the government nor military high command had survived. Turns out they're still around. Where were they while we were eating each other alive in the metro? We'll have a lot of questions for them once we reach Yamantau, if we reach it. The ruins of our country are under enemy control, according to Miller, and we'll have to fight through to our goal. A small team against the occupation armies? What are the chances that we'll succeed, that we'll get some answers?
blows anything off yet, darling? <laughs> Here, let's warm you up a little bit. So, what do you think our chances of getting to Yamantau alive are? It's the only thing on my father's mind. How to earn his forgiveness, get back to Metro and his old life, the life you had always been running from. And to think, I never believed you. And now I'm looking at this fog, thinking it could actually be hiding our new life from us. By the way, we should be approaching the bridge soon. Damn it! A campfire! People! There are people there! Hit the bridge! Shots fired! Four bogies on a trolley! Are you all right, Artyom? How bad is it? Can we move? No, we're stuck! Ah, oh, shit! Damn fog. Seems we ran through someone's roadblock. Who was it? Any uniforms? None. They were wearing rags. Just some old farts. Old farts, huh? That's just the perimeter guard. They could have put anyone there, even women and children. Do you really think we found them, Colonel? Well, we can't be sure. I was expecting to run into them much earlier. The trolley is headed towards the bridge. Some fortifications there. This looks peaceful. A village and a church on the water. We need intel. Here, Artyom. I put a mark on your map. Get there and find out what you can about that bridge. Taking a prisoner would be ideal. Anna, you cover him. Yes, sir. May I go with Artyom too? As backup? No. Until we figure out our situation, you are not to take a step away from the Aurora. These two can handle themselves just fine. Yermak, when can you get the Aurora running again? I don't know yet. Gotta check on that cylinder, but a full day at least. I see. Get to it then. Spartans, let's prepare the Aurora for defensive action. Stepan, Damir, get the perimeter. I'm on yes, the sir. Duke. I need you to recon the immediate area. Got that, sir. Idiot, you give him cover from the Aurora. Yes, sir. Sam and Alyosha, stay in reserve. Yes, yes sir. Don't forget your notepad, Artyom. Wait, am I not trustworthy anymore? I'd tell you if it was the case, Sam. Now, cut the chatter. Forget your backpack. It's a new model. A portable workshop, so to speak. The manual is inside. It doesn't come with crafting materials, though, so keep an eye out for those. Let's move out, Artyom. Just be careful out there. Sure thing. I gotta well, say, that was one flimsy roadblock. And those guys, well, they didn't look like army men at all. Just old men. Be careful out there. Remember, most of the country has been destroyed or occupied. Even those who speak our language might be enemies, by conviction or out of fear. Got it? Do you hear that bell? We must have given them a good scare. Maybe they served the enemy, enslaved or something. Going down. That was great.
Hey, what was that? Could you check it out? I took a look around while you were inside. That electric tower there looks like a perfect sniping position. Let's go. A boat! You won't have to go swimming after all. The locals probably get around mainly by boats. Okay, Artyom, I'll climb up there while you take the boat to the church. I'll call you when I'm settled.
We're not from here either. Silantius locked us up here a year ago. Yes, the bridge dwellers won't even talk to heretics. But I'll tell you everything I've seen in this place all that year. Oh, it's the bridge guard. Silantius fooled them just like the locals. But unlike them, the bridge guard have guns. Run! There's a way out down here and there's a boat at the dock. We also have one, but it's too small for all of us. Artyom, she's right. Get to the boat. We will rescue her later. Don't worry. Go! Nasty and I can get to your train by ourselves. We've been thinking about escape for a long time. Even got a boat. to meet the woman and child. I know you can handle this just fine. I have no choice but to rely on your mercy, even though you are a heretic.
you couldn't get away quietly, without bloodshed. They're bound to hate us even more now. Oh well. Artyom, Katya, and Nastya are with me now. See you aboard the Aurora. Check the map. Looks like you can row straight to it from there. <laughs> What the fuck was that? A whale? It's fucking huge! The old man sent me out as a forward sentry. Told me that I was to sit tight and under no circumstances look for any action. So I just had a front row seat watching you there. And so you subdue the occupation forces peacefully with a holy cross and a prayer. <laughs> Anna has already reported on the cult. How about we trade places? I'd hate to come back to Moscow without even firing once. I was trying to win a girl over from one trader. Tough luck there. Why does everybody else get fun missions? The colonel does criticize you and all, but he gives you all the best action. Is this his way of showing affection or trying to get you killed? But I have to say it's unfair. I've been dragged out of Moscow and for what? Stalking the furnace and sitting in a bog with a dumb spyglass. Here though we do have a chance of finding some loot. There is this plane there. Just leave something for me. I'll have to stay longer, I suspect. The shrimps are giving me trouble, though. I wish I could somehow talk to that catfish into checking out those water bugs. How could Mowgli talk to the animals, I wonder? Here's Artyom back from the abyss of NATO You're occupation. alive! 
Impressive after the horrors Duke told us about. Let's go. Dad's talking to Katya right now. They are so nice. Both Katya and her daughter. And Katya's medical training will come in handy. Thank you for the information, Katya. But there is one more question I need to ask. But of course. What do you know of the occupation forces? Huh? I'm sorry, I don't quite get what you... So, you've never seen any foreign army in this area? No, I haven't seen any army. But we haven't really been to any important places. I see. Hmm. Artem, a moment. Artem, stop by my desk once you're done talking to the old man. I've got something for you. Great job saving them, Artem. Katya here has provided us with vital information. A mechanic called Crest is hiding in the port. His help is required if we are to fix the Aurora in the foreseeable future. Yermak can't handle the repairs alone. So, once you're ready, go to the port and invite Crest to join us. And then get back ASAP. We'll have to decide what to do about the fanatics on that bridge. Now we know for sure that the bridge is in working order. They crossed it last year when they got here. Well, at least some things are clearer now. But still, so many questions. <sighs> there might not even be any enemy forces around here at all. They probably get us in the key regions only. <sighs> in any case, we'll learn everything once we reach Yamantau. From the top source. The Moscow government is essentially a local council to put things in perspective. So, now we just need to figure out how to cross this goddamn bridge. How do you like the backpack? Is it comfortable? Can you operate stealthily with it? I have a present for you here. A Tihar rifle. Ring any bells? It's pneumatic, but it still pecks a wallop. Plus, making bullets for it is easy as pie, even in the field. Just remember to keep that pressure up. Otherwise, you might as well be spitting him out yourself. Other than that, it will never fail you. I did my best. So, bear it with honor. <laughs> and don't forget to drop by from time to time. I have a few ideas for improving it. What do I even do about this? I could replace the cylinder, but there's just no spare. I've got to fix this one. And I don't even know where to start. It uh, usually takes a whole workshop to fix things like that. So you're going to the port to look for that mechanic? Uh, please, do your best. Otherwise, we might as well get used to this place. Hi, Artyom. Hello again, Artyom. You did great out there. Or so everyone says. <laughs> in the meantime, we have dug in here. We've been waiting for the occupying forces. But so far, we have only seen winged and four-legged ones. <laughs> Our ecology seems to sit badly with them. <laughs> Some bandit-looking characters in the distance, too. So, Artyom, are you going to the port? There's nobody there. At least, I haven't seen any normal people. But there sure are mutants, so you'd better take care. Take care? Artyom? The scourge of the Dark Ones? <laughs> Go get them all, Artyom. They'd better hope they can run fast enough. By the way, Alyosha, my friend, that Katya lady Anna brought in? 
she's a nurse, so maybe you should have her look at your wound, huh? Thank you, Artyom. If not for you, we'd never have escaped that place. They were so busy looking for you. And then Anna picked us up. Yes, Uncle Artyom. Thank you. And your wife is great. She's kind and really strong. Thank you, Auntie Anna. There you go, Artyom. As I always said, you lucked out with me. We all lucked out with Anna. She's a total dead eye. Now I only wish your mom could come with us too. With a real medic, we'd become unstoppable. <laughs> <laughs> Katya, Nastya, come have some tea. Don't be shy. Thank you. Artyom, uh, I took some measurements. There is one hell of a radioactive hotspot between this place and the port. The readings are off the scale. So you better take a boat. We found one and docked it under the bridge. Well, unless you're afraid of the monster. Duke told us over the radio. Artyom? Afraid? Bullshit. Besides, the monster is just a catfish. After the nuking, the fallout got washed off into the rivers and settled down as sediment. Catfish are bottom dwellers, so they got hit worse. Well, this one wasn't so bad, by the way. I was careful and never got attacked. I, I don't think it will attack if you keep quiet. It's no alligator, after all. By the way, did you see any of those? Uh, back in the States, I mean. It's not like they were all over the place there, like bears in Russia. You know? Though, I've been to Florida once and visited an alligator farm there. I haven't seen one since I joined the Marines, though. Middle East, Moscow, the Embassy, you know. I heard Miller saved you from a lynching, when shit hit the fan. Yep. I'd rather not talk about it, though.
Ah. <sighs> 
You pretty amazing, Bratuha. That was crazy. Blin, those mutants are pretty hardcore. The villagers have never have a chance against them. You? You just cut through them, Blin. Well, it's pleasure to meet you. Name's Krist, by the way. Are you from the train? Bet the locals wouldn't even talk to you guys. <laughs> Opened fire right away, didn't they? <laughs> of course, those dumb bastards. I've been here long enough to know the drill. They have a cult over there. The dumbasses are hung up on technology having destroyed the old world. So they don't exactly take kindly to smart guys here. And me? Well, they were just gonna lock me up until I agreed to go fight those electrical demons of theirs to absolve my sins. Because I was in cahoots with Satan, apparently, blyad. <laughs> Some Satanist I am. <laughs> I've been fixing engines and trading all my life. Now, now I'm moving to the east. Blin, I'm sick of this part of country. There's just nothing to do here anymore. The cities are gone. Bandits, beasts all around. Lots of space across the Volga, though. Plenty of opportunity. So, I came here with my rail car full of trading goods, hoping to make a few sales on the way east. What a fool I was. I was lucky to get out alive. <laughs> anyway, since you've arrived, I've been thinking of this little plan I had, never had a chance to pull off alone, but since you guys are also going east... Now, judging by what I could see with my binoculars, it's a miracle your engine is still running. Oh, by the way, take the binoculars. I'll show you where everything is. Look at the bridge first. See that section on top? It should lower if the emergency mechanism still works. Katya from the church should know better. I've never been to the bridge myself. There, to the right, that huge hangar. That's a terminal, Blin. The cult is considered a holy place. Covered it all in graffiti, schmafiti. There, tsarfish <laughs> live there, you know? Stupid bastards. Even further right, see the building near all those carriages? Used to be a train depot. There are some bandits there now, but the place itself ain't bad. 
Oh, the area nearby isn't too bad either. There's a good hunting and stuff. I set up several safe camps around there. If you find them, you could rest, fix your equipment. <laughs> Unless you prefer spending nights at an open campfire. Now, come on, let me show you my home now. my cave. And this is where I live. Not a palace. What? Oh, here's a bed. So if you're tired, my home is your home. I made a wood bridge to tinker on. If you need ammo or grenades, there's some uh, raw materials here. So help yourself. You can have anything you like here. Can't carry all the shit anyway. <laughs> Come on, don't be shy. Look at these hands. They know how to fix stuff. You'll never have second thoughts about picking me up. Managed to buy some smokes from the villagers before the assholes chased me away. Dumb cretins didn't like my life. Yeah, I've been banned from the village and the bridge ever since. You shouldn't start a fight with them right away. They are dumb and brainwashed, so they were probably just scared shitless by your arrival. How bad they thought Judgment Day had come, and right on time, too. <laughs> now, you could take this zipline down, just look up. 